guys what's up uh we're going to make a video on boeing right here and i'm gonna be talking a little bit about technical analysis and a little bit about what happened today with airlines especially so today unexpected vaccine news um obviously the airlines and banks and casinos cruise lines all got pumped today based on how you know it's, it's beneficial because of being a vaccine things are going to be opened back up possible right but end of day everything just sold off didn't like the news i'm not sure exactly the news yet but i'll get into that soon but um this was really an unexpected pop actually so nobody knew this was coming nobody knew the vaccine news was out so it was a fundamental play right and now this is going to be a technical play because of how we're stuck on one level, which we had to get to, you know, we have to break so that the price can continue on, on this specific stock right here on Boeing. Um, same with some airlines that are stuck at some SMA 200s, especially. So right now we're going to be getting into technical analysis right here and we're going to be talking about it. So Boeing broke out. So Boeing has a long-term ascending wedge right here, which... Um, we're trying to break soon, but the problem is the SMA 200, which is that yellow line right here. So the SMA 200 is a major resistance. We need to get above. Once you get above this, this is going to be above all the SMAs, which can turn into long-term bullish sentiment right here for technical analysis on Boeing. So once this breaks the SMA 200, um, this can't continue on to see that 198, a little small push, right? where the consolidation area was right here but we also had a multi um multi-day level resistance of uh, resistance and support right here and we also had locked dark bolt levels right here at this level of 198 and 200 area so once you get above this this will have a nice clean move back to 222.27 which is at the top of the range around this area okay now um a good thing about Boeing is that we also broke out of a little little um wedge right here, which is the top of this um, previous high based on this inside, this little area right here. We hit some resistance on the downtrend and we broke out right here. So you can see we had a little wedge um resistance right here and we broke out of it and got above all the estimates that's up to 200. So once... We get above this SMA 200. I still will not make a move inside this until we get above 198. I don't care what anybody says. That's the safe move because, you know, sometimes stock breaks SMA 200 and the next day it comes back down and then it screws a lot of people over. So while we're waiting for a 198 move, there's also long term weekly squeeze building right here. So that's something telling us that this can make huge moves in the future but the market's confused right so we don't know exactly if this is going to be you know the next um tech move you know v-shape recovery right here or u-shape um so no moves on this until we break that 198 and we can see that clean move back to 222.70 and above that we can see that 237.47 and we'll see gap up in this range right here from 237 to 253 which is in the daily gap right here so um break and boeing we have a weekly squeeze and our side turned bullish right here so that's something telling us right here long term move but the um the catalyst to this break to this breakout was vaccine news it's not a technical a technical breakout so it's a little bit of a you know false move right here but if this can actually continue to move on its own without using any, you know, news of vaccine and everything and get above that 198, this could be a safer move back to the two, to the high 250s. So if, you know, more vaccine news comes out, good ones especially, you know, um, and technical looks good, weekly squeeze is setting up stronger and stronger, the volume is coming back. And ever since inside, we're inside this, um, you know, wedge right here the whole time. The volume has been really quiet right here. You can see there's no volume inside this. It's it's mostly just below average. And over here in this range, you can see we have a lot of volatility right here back in 
um, June, July, August. You can see the volume was insane right here. Um, and the volume today was back to where we are back here. So it's not telling us something, but it's telling us like, how much people are actually trading this now. So we need more time, more um, technical analysis moves right here inside um, this chart for the next couple days and see if we can break that 198. Otherwise, this is just a false move. So um, also I'm not going to play any puts because um, it's just a doji candle right here. So no direction right here. We touched that switch 200, rejected, and formed a doji. So looks like it's gonna be a little bit tight range between um, the SME 200 and the 100 as support right here. Now that we broke above this level right here, so I'm not too worried about this. Um, these two levels right here on the downside. So I'm only focusing on calls if this can actually break that 198 for long term moves. Um, so this is a technical analysis for Boeing right here. Um, indicators look good. I actually like the daily right here. Um, stock R side is a little bit overbought already, which is not good because we we just started the breakout today. But so we may have a little bit of pullback um, or a consolidating period under the SMA 200 break above, and the weekly will turn around and actually break out on technical. So we'll see what happens for the week on Boeing. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned a little bit about technical analysis and fundamental news and such. So I'll see you guys next video. And thank you for watching on here especially because I never made a video on Facebook. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you liked it, please comment below and I'll make more for you guys on here. Thank you.